Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this quick text cut in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what we're doing is we are creating a shape and then cutting layers out of it. Let's get started. First thing I did was import some footage. I have some footage from Envato Elements right here. Uh, that's a subscription-based service for an unlimited amount of stock footage. Check out the link in the description below for that. What we wanna do is we wanna get to our graphics panel over here. We wanna then create a graphics layer. So the easiest way to do that is if we go over to our tools, we can just create a rectangle. I click the rectangle tool, any of these will work. Um, draw out that rectangle and the graphics layer will automatically be generated. And then we can actually edit the effects to the right here. Now with this in place, we'll go to our text tool and we can type anything we want. 10 days later, we could type a, a country. Um, let's just go with the three days later. Now you'll notice that the text is white so you can't see it at the current moment. But if we go down here to mask with text and then invert, what we have is it's actually going to cut out the shape layer beneath it. We can then take this, move it around, get it situated inside as this box is a little small. So we need to maybe bring this down to like 185 and we can quickly cut it out. Now here's what's really fun about this is you can do anything you want with shapes and different layers to actually do this effect. So for example, if we wanted to go into our shape layer again, go down to the ellipse tool and make a big circle like so, if we then go to that shape, go to mask with shape and invert, we can actually use it to cut out the bottom layer as well. So we can create fun sort of curves that are a lot simpler than using the, the, the curve and shape tool. So for example, like this. Now we have this really, really fun graphic right off the bat that looks professional and clean. And what's best of all is all of this is linked together. So if you do something like an opacity shift or a fade out, for example, right here, then the entire thing fades out all together. And you can animate its motion and graphics just like it's a singular layer. So with these tools, with the ability to mask it behind mask with the shape and invert you can do a whole bunch of really really fun quick effects thanks for everyone joining me if you have any question or comment throw them in the comment section below check out the course in the link below it is a course that i have personally created that teaches you adobe premiere pro so check that out and until next time guys see ya